Uh, the next presentation will actually be from uh, me, Brendan Flanagan, and um, I'll be presenting to you about um, learning analytics platform uh, knowledge map infrastructure. Um, so currently we have these sorts of uh, graphs for reading analysis where it shows the pages in the book and it shows maybe how many minutes a student has read that page for. However, a lot of teachers come to me and they say, uh, page number four has been read for 12 minutes. What does that mean? Um, and some of you may be um, familiar with uh, knowledge maps. They're also called concept maps, mind maps. They go by many names. And they basically show uh, a knowledge structure contained, say, within a, a course, a material, or something like that. Um, my research is basically to take what we're doing in learning analytics, this sort of uh, graph data, and uh, superimpose it onto a knowledge structure. So we have learning analytics with meaning. Um, and uh, why, why use a knowledge structure like a, a, a knowledge map? Um, uh, there, there are learning theories about how we basically acquire new knowledge. So one of the ways that we can acquire new knowledge is by relating it to existing knowledge structures within our mind. Um, and this has actually been used in a lot of uh, previous uh, uh, research into ontology and education. However, uh, this usually can, uh, requires a, a, a quite a complex uh, manual construction uh, uh, effort by domain experts, which are usually teachers in the classroom. Um, and teachers create good models. However, it takes a lot of time, and we know that teachers don't have much time. Um, so this is current overview of the uh, learning analytics platform that we uh, are developing at Ogata Lab in Kyoto University. And um, my research basically fits in, uh, into it this way. Uh, you've heard book roll many times now. Um, basically, it's an e-book reading system, and it records learning uh, behavior data, so reading behavior data in the uh, LRS. My research is to take uh, the actual contents from book roll and also the user models that we have from uh, the analysis of uh, learning data from the LRS and create the, uh, the knowledge map that is basically um, o overlaid with uh, learning analytics results. Um, so one of the main uh, parts of my research is to automatically generate these sorts of maps. Um, and by, by using the uh, user model data, we can also see what knowledge the student might have acquired and what knowledge they might not have acquired yet. Um, and one, one way that we can do this is by basically treating uh, an ebook as a set of documents and we can create a co-occurrence graph from that. And then um, currently I use two different methods, either by referencing an existing knowledge graph, say uh, um, a thesaurus or a Google knowledge graph or Microsoft ac ac academic graph, or another method is by using minimum spanning tree algorithm to make a, uh, a simple graph out of the uh, complex co-occurrence graph. And how does this fit in um, at an at a infrastructure level? So currently we have the uh, LRS here along with the analysis. And we also have a dashboard that sits off this um, part here. And um, my research basically currently has uh, built the knowledge extraction process. We also have the, uh, the knowledge portal currently um, that can be used by both teachers and also students. And I'm currently working on a, uh, a knowledge map store and also a, a knowledge map authoring system so that teachers can check these automatically generated knowledge maps before they're used by students. And um, how would we use these knowledge maps? One, one simple way is to basically give a knowledge map to a student and say this is your current uh, state, your knowledge state, and they can see what maybe they, they don't know yet and what maybe they can potentially study. Um, we can also show them their progress progression over time and we can also compare to other students so then they can see maybe where they're lacking, where they could maybe study next, where other people are studying. 
It also gives uh, teachers an opportunity to see an overview of their class. Um, maybe what, maybe they need to specifically uh, um, go into detail on a certain concept or something in class because students haven't picked it up. Um, and um, a, a future planned use for it is um, basically per personalizing contents recommendation and also uh, having intentions based on knowledge states of students. And um, because this is very valuable information, we're also um, working on exporting uh, this type of information that we're gathering in systems uh, via the blockchain. So then uh, basically uh, students can take their learning history with them to other institutions. And uh, currently uh, our, our um, master student Patrick is working on that. And um, Patrick's um, Bowl system basically has two main parts. It has Bowl, which basically enables learner data to go anywhere the learner goes. Um, so be it knowledge maps, learning logs, and also evidence records. And um, he also has currently built a, a new part called uh, Bowl M, which is basically a decentralized marketplace for digital learning materials. And that's my presentation for today. Thank you very much.